today's episode with your fave, Alicia. But cheers, here's to episode two, and cheers to fall is the silver Bottega dupe earrings. Period. Ah, on camera. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is your fave, Alicia, and welcome to episode two of Romanticizing My Life, especially as a black woman. So happy October 3rd, you guys. We all know that saying from Mean Girls, ah, it's October 3rd. <laughs> but anyways, happy fall. I am so excited that fall is finally here. I love fall so much. So this is a special like romanticizing my life episode because we're gonna get into some fall things. So I want to make a fall security board with you all. I think that would be so much fun. And then I also wanna show you guys some Amazon accessories that are my fall must-haves okay y'all I found some cute earrings a cute necklace and I gotta show y'all because I'm definitely going to incorporate them into my wardrobe for this fall so make sure you guys watch all the way to the end of this video and if you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can stay in tune with these episodes and so you can stay in tune with your fave Alicia um, make sure you follow me on all my social medias give this video a big thumbs up and let's get right into it so first off, I told you guys I love fall and it's October now. So we're like, what, 20 something days away from Halloween. So let me show y'all what I have on. <laughs> Period. Period. Your girl has on some Halloween lounge pants. Um, these I got these last year from like maybe Target. No, actually, you know what? I think I got these from like Brothers and they were super cheap. They were like $8, but I like these, baby, because they hook. They hug the butt just right. <laughs> I'm just saying like a really cute chill fit to kind of get me in the mood of fall. Of course, I've just paired it with my Target black t-shirt and it's given I'm ready for October, right? Because I am. Look, baby, look, 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 look my butt. Look at these pants. Look big, don't it? Period. Ah, bitch, my butt on camera. Ah. <laughs> I told y'all these pants like my booty look good. Hey, hey. Okay, okay, okay. Let, let me get back into the video. <laughs> so you see what I have on. I'm feeling really festive, really fall-like. I feel good. And that's a part of this journey. We're romanticizing my journey like I have to feel good. I gotta really pour into my emotions, pour into my mental health. So even when I am at home, okay, even when I'm at home, I wanna feel good, okay? But so while I'm at home, I wanna get into feeling my body more with things that I like. And I love security boards. I love them, okay? Um, and I haven't made one in a while and I don't know why. And I'm like, why not? Why not make yourself a security board while you're at home editing your youtube videos watching youtube videos watching tv right i just feel like it will make me feel better so that's why i'm super excited to show you guys and i'm and i want to incorporate it with some fall stuff so i can't wait to show you guys so let me show you the charcuterie board this is my charcuterie board i actually have two of these boards i have a lighter color and then i have this darker color this one is my favorite um y'all i still have the tag on it <laughs> i got this from i got this for 7.99 at ross so this one to me is kind of like a personal security board but you also can share this with maybe one other person i feel like if you have multiple people then you might want to invest in a bigger security board which i'll show you guys my bigger security board because i love it this is the biggest one that i have as you can see it has the red cardinals on there oh my gosh so i bought this one for twenty dollars 19.99 um i got this one at home goods and it says this one was made in india i still have this tag on it because i haven't yet used it um it's fairly new but isn't it cute um so i plan to use this when i have guests over because look, just look at the size of it it's a really nice size but i'm from louisville kentucky so the red cardinal is really special to our state um if you're spiritual biblical then you know like if you see like a red cardinal in your yard it means like one of your ancestors is checking on you or just watching over you i don't know if you guys heard that but that's what my mom and my granny taught me so i've been running with it <laughs> wait guys before i show you guys the items that i'm making with my security board let me pour me some wine to set the mood um this is oliver sweet wine sweet white excuse me don't buy this y'all <laughs> yeah i tried this for the very first time like two weeks ago i got it from target i'm not a fan it's more dry than i like you know but i'm gonna drink it because i have it and 
yeah we can't waste um a i think this is like eight dollars yeah we can't waste the eight dollar wine bottle so cheers <laughs> no seriously if you're looking for some good wine i say um oliver blueberry is really good so maybe you could try out that one but yeah if you're into like semi dry wines then you might like the sweet wine but i'm i'm more of a sweet girl so but cheers here's to episode two and cheers to fall Why does this taste better than the first time I had it? Did this have to like sit for a while? That's crazy. And look at me telling y'all don't try it. It's actually good now. That's so weird. <laughs> and do y'all like my pink, my pink wine glass? Period. So everything that I'm showing you guys that I'm making in my security board is from a grocery store called Aldi's. Hopefully you have one um, in the area that you live in, but I'm telling y'all they have the best items for security boards like i'm talking just let me show y'all let me show y'all what i'm about to use okay guys so for today's security board i'm only using one two three four five six items that's it okay and these are fairly affordable so this is the cheese party tray that i'm going to use i love kobe jack and i love pepper jack so i'm definitely using those two and i believe this was around six dollars maybe five so then we have our meats right here my favorite is the pepper salami and i believe this one was around five dollars and then i like to have a little chocolate on my security boards you guys so i love peanut m ms so i'm definitely going to use some of that and then here's the crackers that I'm going to use you guys um, this one is an assortment so I can just pick out any ones that I like and you guys this is the most important thing to the charcuterie board to me you gotta have your gems so as you can see this is a four a four piece so there's a fig and honey there's a pear and cinnamon there's an apricot and cumin and then there's a cherry rosemary so my absolute favorite is the pear and cinnamon they're all really good but this one is like top tier so and I like to put this on my crackers and then for the fruit I'm just going in with some red seedless grapes so for my security board I do like to use little cute containers just to put like my if I had like raisins but for this security board I have m and so look at these you guys they're in the heart shape and they are just so cute right so I did purchase these from Amazon they'll be in my Amazon storefront if you also want to purchase them the only thing I will say about these is these are tiny okay these are not large size but again if this is just a board for you then they're the perfect size okay but if you have multiple people you can still use these but you might have to use more than one um, I'm trying to figure out which color do I want to go with um, since this is a fall vlog maybe I'll just go with the neutral color or I might use this really pretty teal not teal but this really pretty green color because that's super cute yeah I think I maybe I'll go with this one and this one so we'll just leave those two out so yeah let's get to making this board
to add a fall touch to my charcuterie board. I'm debating on if I should add this little pumpkin or this little pumpkin. Both of these I got from the Dollar Tree. They're super cute. Um, I'm kind of going, I don't know. They're so cute, right? So there's that one. I only have room for one. Which one do you guys think? I just want my board to scream like, it's fall, y'all. You like that one or do we like this one? Don't worry, I did sanitize these, so they're not going to hurt my food or anything. I guess we'll go with the theme and we'll stick to the orange pumpkin. So here we have it. This is my fall charcuterie board. How cute, right? I love those little hearts. They are so cute. Tell me what you guys think of my board down below in the comment section. Okay guys, so here's my charcuterie board like I showed you all and we got to taste it. I already ate one of my M&M's because I love M&M's but I want to try, um, I want to taste one of these jams with you guys because mm, that apple cinnamon is like the perfect mixture between the two. I'm about to try one of these hot salamis I think they're called. I think this one, the big, large size one, is the salami. Let me try it. Mmm. Oh, that's good. It's not. It's not too hot. It just has like a little, a little bold flavor to it. That's really good. I want to eat it with my jam. Mmm. That is so good. And then also what I like to do is I'll just tear a piece of like one of my cheeses off and do like that. Mm. That pepper jack is going to do what it needs to do every time. <laughs> okay, so that I'm not eating in front of y'all face. <laughs> but yes, we got to get into some more stuff, you guys. Had to take me a drink, babes. <laughs> So I know y'all see my Amazon package sitting right here. Let me just go ahead and get to it, you guys. Um, firstly, I will show you the two earrings that I purchased. So I'm sure you guys have seen all over TikTok, all over Instagram is the Bottega dupe earrings, right? So I got two pair and I got two sizes. I got a large size and I got a small size. First off, I love the bag that these come in. Not the bag, but the box that these come in are so cute. Like, look at this. Isn't that box like so exquisite looking? I love it so much. So here is the silver Bottega dupe earrings. I'll take them out so you can see. Look at those, those are like, they look like a teardrop, you know, but they're super cute, super large. I'm gonna put one in so you guys can see what they look like. So I was kind of skeptical about getting the large size ones just because I didn't know how I feel they'll like look with the shape of my face, but I don't know, I'll let you guys judge. You guys tell me if you like this size on me. So there they are, as you can see. Okay, so what i do like about the large is boom you can see it like you see that look i feel like it just accentuates your face so much more versus like the small ones you know um i really do like the large size one i'm really happy that i got it in silver too so what do you guys think just imagine me this fall with like a cute sweater or like a really cute trench coat and then i put these on oh accessories matter they are just going to like make that outfit 10 times better so these are definitely getting added to my fall fashion and also um if you're wondering how much they cost i did pay 20 dollars even for these so not 19.99 not too bad um the thing about amazon is there are a lot of these bottega dupes on amazon so you have to know which one to get so for me um, I trusted like the, the influencer girlies like the ones that the influencer girlies purchased I knew that they would be like better quality um, so this brand is Espo I don't know it'll be in my Amazon storefront so if you definitely want a good brand of the Bottega dupes definitely um, click on my Amazon storefront so that you'll be able to purchase it from there um, so let's get into the gold pair which are the smaller pair you guys I love these ones too and again, it comes in that really cute green box. 
but look at these you guys so cute right so they are literally way smaller than the silvers but again they're just that little cute teardrop size let's try them on because i want you guys to see the difference in size and also the difference in color so the gold ones I love because I'll be able to wear this size like to work and then also to church. While the silver ones, they're bigger. So they're gonna go with like my really cute outfits for the fall, like when I'm like really got somewhere to go, you know? So here we have it. Super cute, right? Yes, of course you're like, oh my gosh, you can really tell the difference. Yes, you can. Let me pull my hair back so you can see. So again, the silver just pop because they're so big, you know? But then you go to this side with the gold and it's giving classy, like it's giving, you know, it's giving, I gotta go to work, so I gotta throw me some cute earrings on or I'm just running to Target, but I still wanna look put together, so let me just put these earrings on, I don't know. I love that I got both sizes. I love, love, love it. I do love the gold ones. Like I'm for sure wearing the gold ones to work this fall because it's just giving class, you know? So the gold ones were of course cheaper than the silver ones. They were only $13.99. So again, these are on my Amazon storefront. And if you go to my Amazon storefront, you'll see they have like where you can buy the silver and the gold small ones together for like under $20. They even have like a rose gold kind. Like it's a lot on there. So make sure you check it out. Make sure you comment down below. Let me know what do you think about these earrings? Do you have a pair yet? Do you plan on getting a pair? And which pair is your favorite? Go ahead, girl. Tell me which ones. Which ones you really like? I like them both, but I don't know. Now that I keep looking at myself, I did say I like the gold better, but now I'm like, I don't know. I'm really feeling the silver. The silver is just like, you're that girl, you know? <laughs> The last fall item that I wanted to show you guys from my accessories is I got a new necklace. So it came in this cute little pink box and the box says the name of the brand. So I love real jewelry. Majority of my necklaces are real, real gold, real silver. Um, but occasionally I love me a good Amazon necklace because they too look really cute and they can have really good quality too. So I found me a really cute quality diamond choker, you guys. So this is what it looks like. So let's open it up. Oh, and look at it. I love the boxing of this. It was so classy, right? And look at that. Hold on, let me turn it. Boom. Do you see the diamonds in there? So cute. So let me try this on for you guys. Okay. So these nails kind of make it hard for me to clasp this. And my boyfriend's not here, so I won't be able to really try on the necklace. But I will put it on my neck like that so you can see. Hold on, let me see. So there we go. So it just hangs a bit. I believe this is a 17 inch or maybe a 16 inch, but is it not getting classy? And look at it with the silver earrings. I feel like it's so cute. It's definitely being added to my fall fashion. What do you guys think? Do you like it? And of course it's not a real necklace. So this is not one that I'm gonna be able to wear every day because I don't wanna turn my neck green or anything like that. But on the occasion when the outfit calls for it, yeah, the diamond choker will be worn. And I love this packaging, that's just so cute. And I did do my research. Again, this is one of those quality pieces from Amazon. I don't just buy whatever looks cute. No, you gotta really make sure like that you read the reviews and everything on jewelry. Yeah, so this is called a tennis necklace, you guys. It's a 14K gold plated rhinestone necklace and it was only $13.99, so I love it. I kinda wanna put the big silver one on now just to go with the vibe you know and if you're worried about if these are heavy on your earlobes trust me they're not those silver ones are teak okay chef's kiss I love them so cute oh I'm getting hungry again let me eat another piece of my thing so I'm just chilling for the rest of the night I think I'm about to cut me on a Halloween movie probably like Halloween Town y'all I love Halloween Town So I hope you 
you've enjoyed episode two of romanticizing my life and just pouring into myself and creating a little cute hobby for myself while I'm at home with these charcuterie boards. I can't wait to make more and get more creative, you know? I wanna get on TikTok and find new ways to arrange my charcuterie board. And definitely, if you don't have one, you should totally get one. So that's it for me, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you guys in my next episode of Romanticizing My Life or in my next vlog. Um, love you guys. Make sure you subscribe to the family and I'll see you next time. Peace. I just wanna be your favorite. I just wanna be your favorite.